Drinking after hours in the Temperance Hotel can be rather catastrophic. I know it all too well. We thought his name was Buckland, lived down Occupation Road. His real name was Dyson, and he'd squandered many a load. Wherever Dyson had appeared, there'd been a hullabaloo. He'd done time in prison for things he said he didn't do. He didn't pay his taxes and ignored his terms of bail. Omission and commission are just two different ways to fail. Well, he was riding with a snake man on an uneven road when the topic of conversation alighted upon the toad. Better not talk of the devil or the old and will appear. Oh, that's okay, said Dyson. He wouldn't show his face round here. Dyson told the snake man with bravado, all the same, I've gambled with the devil and I've beat him at his game. I have a Jewish talisman against the evil eye. I go to church on Sunday, go to heaven when I die. Snakey dropped him at a bus stop. There's one here will get you back. Don't go talking of the devil now or he will cross your track. A bus came round the corner. It's blind red catch 22. This is the wrong number. This bus will not do. On the bus's side an advert read like some poor email spam. Cut the fuss, use the bus, beat the jam, ride the tram. I have to catch a 23, a 14 or a 9. A 22 is no use to me. I think I'm not on time. And after 40 minutes left standing at the stop, he'd seen another 22 and was about to drop. I often get suspicious like a magpie by the door. I've got a nasty feeling my bus don't run here anymore. So Dyson started walking, but one thing that he did know, he'd have to pass the graveyard, one place no one wants to go. But down at Cemetery Junction that day, the devil was taking his due, hanging out with Dr. Crippen and a boy named Sue. As Dyson near the graveyard gates, he came upon a man, a stranger with familiar cast who offered him his hand. The stranger greeted Dyson with a mesmeric stare. Now you have met the devil, the stranger did declare. You don't know how lonely the job of devil it can be. I'm the one and only, there's no one else like me. They threw me out of heaven for speaking out of turn, for asking awkward questions. Some people never learn. I am the opposition, it's my job to criticise. I'll say it was off target when it's right between the eyes. If you are a winner, it's only cause you cheat. And if you are a loser, I enjoy your defeat. I'll say that you do nothing despite all the power you wield. The boot is on the other foot on a level playing field. I've seen men all through history torture and kill, force women, slaves and minions to bend to their will. I who was cast down from heaven above can easily see that hate's stronger than love. No matter how unfair they are in a fight, those men who triumph must always be right. God must always be on the winning side, for the losers can't give thanks to God when they've died. All the great heroes were killers in fact, and most of them ended up stabbed in the back. If you're looking for goodness, you're on the wrong track. I knew the unknown soldier, I game with Captain Bly, played blackjack with Lord Nelson just before he lost one eye. And who's the final prophet? The latest one says, me! But there's only been one devil, as you can plainly see. You see, I am a being of inordinate fine skill. If anyone can make it work, you bet your boots, I will. I see you are a sporting man, the odds are all the same. Playing on old scratches cards and at the numbers game. You lose on online gambling with every click of the mouse. And even when they are not fixed, the odds always favour the house. When's your birthday, the devil asked him. April the 2nd, he replied. Clearly you were born a day late and left the birth register lied. Life's just jiggery pokery from the cradle to the grave. And everybody here on earth is either slave or knave. And do you carry something you think keeps you from all harm? Everyone's superstitious with at least one lucky charm. Some people have a black cat bone and some one from a toad. And drivers use St Christopher to save them on the road. Here's my lucky rabbit's foot. I have it here through habit. The devil laughed and said it wasn't lucky for the rabbit. I know you are a gambler. 
always up for a flutter. Shall we play a crap game here, down here in the gutter? I stole the dice from Odin, who invented them one day, and took them to a hoodoo man who taught men how to play. If you can beat me at this game, I'll give you all that you desire. And if you lose, you'll come with me and be tossed in the fire. I feel like those seven maids sweeping up Black Gang Chine. Don't worry about it, said the devil. I think you're doing fine. Dyson had a hot spell and he was doing well. The way the dice were rolling gave him no thought of hell. But then the tables turned around and it came to the last throw. If this comes up a seven, then you know you've got to go. The devil threw the dice down and he did a blanket roll. The points they counted seven and the devil took his soul. All of us here drinking in the temperance hotel got a sudden eerie feeling that something wasn't well. Buckland never came again to play. He had just disappeared. We thought he had been murdered. At least that's what we feared. The moral of this story, if there's anything to learn, is not to stake all that you've got just upon a single turn. You bring it all upon yourself. You never have to play. Nobody makes you lay your stakes. You can always walk away.